Councilmember Don Ludke, and I'm here in Gaithersburg at Hills Gymnastics, right in the heart of District 7. We're gonna talk to gymnast Kayla DiCello. I'm really excited to hear about her journey and her work with her coach, Kelly Hill. Good morning, Kayla. How good are you? Good morning, I'm good, how are you? Good, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for taking the time out to talk to us today. Of course. You grew up here as well as training here at Hills Gymnastics. You grew up in Montgomery County. I did. And so tell us a little bit about what it was like growing up in Montgomery County. Um, it was really good. It's been really fun living in Montgomery County and just being able to have a really good gym here and all the schools that have been able to accommodate my training schedule has been probably the most helpful thing. She has looked so calm throughout this routine and she's performed like it as well. The smallest of pauses before her double pike dismount really focused. You have competed on the world stage for a while now. Um, what was your most recent competition? I just had the Pan American Games. What was your favorite event? Probably all around finals. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. why is that? What did you get? Because <laughs> I won all around finals. <laughs> so what is your favorite event of the four that you compete in? My favorite event is bars. And how does it feel to be up there in the middle of performing? I think one of my favorite parts is flying and re-catching the bar and that it's different than all of the other events. When my bars is good, it kind of, it all just flows together, which I really like. And it's, I think it's really cool to watch. And I know, you know, no matter how effortless it looks in the middle of a competition, mm -hmm. and I know it takes a lot of power, a lot of strength, and a lot of mental power to perform at the level you perform. And a full twisting double tuck dismount. So let's talk about why you're back here at Hills now. You're a college student at the University of Florida, but you're taking some time away to get back into training here at Hills. What are you working towards? I'm working towards the Paris Olympics. And how much training do you need to do now? I'm back on the same schedule as I was before I left for school, so around 30, 32 hours a week. I would wake up around five and then go to practice, which started at six, go from six to 10. Come back here to the gym for practice around 3.30 and then go from 3.30 to 7.30. super excited for you and I am gonna stay in tune and tracking to, to see how things go but wishing you all the best as you head towards the 2024 Olympics. Thank you. Team USA's Kayla DiCello. I'm here today with Kelly Hill and we're at Hills Gymnastics in Gaithersburg. I heard rumor that you were going to retire, maybe, but you didn't <laughs> retire. So so talk Actually, about why. I did retire. You did retire. <laughs> did you come back? Yes. And what brought you back? When Kayla was done, I had said that was going to be my last athlete and I was retiring. She went to Florida the day mm -hmm. after USA Championships. And I basically moved to Delaware where we have a beach house. And Kayla gave me a call back in April and asked if she could come back and train for 24. That was a hard decision for me to make. I've just done this for so long. I love the sport of gymnastics. And Kayla's a worker. Round on the board, I'm up. We're trying to turn, we're back to just watch. She works her bottom off and just is fun to work with. She's enjoying it, she communicates, mm -hmm. she talks, it's, mm -hmm. she's fun. Nice. Ah, chest in a little bit longer. Sit up, you open this a little too much. Just stay tight to here, you can catch the bar. Tell us a little bit about how Hills got started and your journey here. I opened the gym back in 81. I was a gymnast at University of Maryland and I just wanted to be a gymnastics coach forever. I've wanted to be a gymnastics coach. 
So I've had the opportunity to observe here today that you cover a wide range of ages. Here at Hills Gymnastics, we offer classes for children anywhere from walking all the way up through into college years. Girls and boys are grouped <laughs> by age up until through their intermediate advanced levels. Right. And then they can choose to go into a competitive route or to stay as a recreational athlete. And if they want to take it further, mm -hmm. we can take them through competitive, up through the Olympic Games. If they just enjoy the activity, and then we have open gyms and birthday parties and mm -hmm. field trips. We try to give that as an outlet. Let's talk about the future of Hills Gymnastics. Uh, so once you're officially, formally, entirely in retirement, uh, what's happening with our programs here? Uh, my youngest son, Jason, has been working with me for years now, and he will be taking over the gym. He's already taken over the gym for the past couple of years, mm -hmm. doing a fantastic job, and I couldn't be happier That's with excellent. watching it go on. Well, I want to thank you uh, for taking some time to chat with us today and also congratulate you on your retirement. Congratulations. Thank you.